Hey everyone, I'm Drew. I'm Micah. And today we're gonna to try something new and exciting. So I'm sure we've all had that moment around the house where we see a random liquid and think to ourselves, would this work in my fountain pen? Obviously the answer is probably not, I shouldn't try, but I'm still curious. So today we're gonna to try a few of those foolish things for you. So in today's episode, we're gonna take a look at some of the things that we've been asked about most. So we're gonna take a look at tea, coffee, and red wine, and see if they write. What do you think? Coffee, let's take a look at coffee. So coffee, I think coffee will write, and I like the customizability of it. Like you can add some cream, get a nice different color. No, 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 we're not, it's black coffee. We're sticking with black coffee. Don't no, go nuts. But there's, but there's this potential. This is science, Micah. Okay, this fine. is science. Black coffee. Black coffee only. All right, tea. You can't customize it. Tea, what do you think? <laughs> tea. <laughs> tea. Tea's super light. It's not going to show up, right? Yeah, people make homemade ink from tea, so I think it will write. I don't think it will destroy the pen, but yeah, I'm, I'm concerned about readability. Okay. And the vino. The wine. Alcohol and pens don't mix. No, you shouldn't do it. You shouldn't do you it. You shouldn't it's do it. It's not great. But we're going to. But I think it's going to look the best. To be written with. There are a lot of inks that take their naming conventions from various wines, so that is a thing. Whether or not this is a thing remains to be seen. We'll see. All right, because Drew and I are scientists, we have criteria that we're going to try to meet to say if something will write or not. So the first one is does it write without assistance? Right. The next thing we're going to be checking is legibility or readability. We're going to hold it at arm's length, make sure we can see what we wrote, because obviously if we can't read it, then writing is kind of pointless, isn't it? And the last one, the best one, does it destroy the pen? Yikes, yeah. If this thing is compromised, if the feed is somehow rendered useless, or if the inside of the pen's all flaking and messed up, then yeah, that, that is a failure. And also, one more thing that I definitely want everybody to keep in mind is that this is purely for entertainment purposes only, and you should not repeat anything that you see us do to these poor, poor pens. If you try to do this with one of your pens, obviously it will be rendered obsolete and useless, and no one wants that, especially not us. So let us do the dirty work, and you just sit back and have a good time. What do you think? Let's freaking do it! All right, first up we have Tea. We're ready to go. Here we go. Tea. Right. Now this is black tea, but it is uh, it has the appearance of apple juice. <laughs> so apple tea. But trust us, it's definitely tea. Oh, it's still kind of warm too. Mm. That smells delightful. Oh, that is nice. And and here we go. We're gonna go with the Twisby Eco because it is it has a super clear ink chamber. Uh, it's got a piston. If we ever need to, maybe not in this episode, but in future episodes, we might be dealing with some liquids that need to be helped a little bit with the uh, efforts of a piston. So um, let's give it a shot, man. All right. Today we're using tea that originally came from a Goulet mug. Look at that. That's tea. quite lovely. Nice amber, light amber. I, that's not going to show up. That's definitely not going to show up, right? It, it's probably not going to no, show up. That's too light. It looks kind of nice in the feet, or like in the... It does. That's barrel, another though. great thing about the Eco. Like that crystal clear barrel is really, really awesome. Drew, do you know what the difference between the different ty types of tea are? Of course, everybody knows that. No, I really don't. What? They're actually all the same plant. They all come from the same plant. It's just how long they're oxidized. So like green tea and black tea and oolong and all of that are all the same plant. They're just oxidized at different times, like for different lengths. Okay. Neat, right? I feel just emboldened with knowledge. All right, mm -hmm. let's grab some paper. Yeah, let's do it. Here we go. Moment of truth. Feed looks nice and saturated. Mm-mm. Hello, come on. Oh, there we go. Oh. Is it coming out? It's... There's some shake happening, but then once you get it on the paper, it is not wanting to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Yeah, that's... Is it just so light you can't see it? Oh, super light. You can't see a thing. I just wrote beef buckets, and I can't even see my beef buckets. I can see the indents in the paper. Look at it, it's drying, it's disappearing. Oh. Like you can see it disappearing. It's gone. No, she gone. Hmm. Strike one, T. So, uh, criteria being, does it flow without assistance? Drew, how do you feel about the flow? Um, the flow is okay. It required a bit of shaking, but then once you, once you did that, it was fine. Now, moving on to readability. Very, very illegible. 
I, absolutely. I cannot I definitively <laughs> illegible. You can't see a thing. Once it dries, like you can see a little bit um, when it's wet, but really you're just seeing wet words. You're seeing the wetness, like the, the sheen of the water, but you're not seeing any color at all. Like you so, could have told me you just spilled your tea a little bit on this paper and I would have believed you. I wouldn't have known anything else. Yeah. Yeah, no. That's not happening. So when it's wet, you can see a little bit of the light hitting the liquid, but once it dries, it's gone completely. This, this, I, you know, I will say this is probably not going to cause any long-term damage. So there's that. <laughs> All right. Next we have coffee. Mmm. Everyone's favorite beverage. And if it's not your favorite beverage, it is your favorite beverage. Come on, it's coffee. That's delightful. All right, we have some really a really nice uh, blend. Yes. Unlabeled clear cup blend. So, not nearly as clear as the tea. So we've got, I've got you know a little bit more hope on this one, right? Yeah, I think I think this one will look a little better. Um, all right, well, let's let's see how it let's goes. Cut to it, Drew. Yes. Have you ever wondered what happens to the caffeine in coffee whenever it's decaffeinated? No, I have not. You want to know where it goes? Yes, I do. It's actually sold to soda companies, and that's how they caffeinate their sodas. They With take the leftover ca caffeine. They do. They take the caffeine from the decaffeinated coffee and put it in the soda. So oh, that's how it's like Wendy's chili. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the coffee. It's a little, uh, a little like darker. It's than definitely the darker. Was. It, it's it's nice, nice little sloshy. Mm. Nice sloshing. That's what we're looking for. That's it. The slosh factor. Maybe that should be a criteria. How sloshy How is it? How sloshy is it? So well, this... the, the, it's definitely not like sticking to the sides or anything like that. So it's not, not, not goopy. You know the other thing that I like about the coffee? It keeps my pen perky. Because, <laughs> you know, you in a long writing session, you're, you get tired, your pen gets tired. You have a little coffee for yourself, a little bit for your pen, and both of you stay nice and alert. Okay, all right. Okay. Okay, that's showing up a little better. It's definitely showing up better. It's, I mean, it's not great. No, no, it's not. All these are medium nib Twisby Ecos. And uh, yeah, so it is putting down a solid amount of liquid. Can't say ink. It's very natural for me to do so, but. Yeah, I don't know. It's, I mean, it's, it's all right. Okay. Oh, it smells nice though. I got a little bit on my hand when I was feeling it. That is a perk of using coffee. It smells nice. Did you just say perk again? <laughs> I wasn't even Don't trying on that one. <laughs> yeah, okay. This, you know, I can already tell that your writing over here is pretty dry. And you can see it. It's very, very light brown. It surely do the legibility test. Oh, the legibility All right. test. Let's put those glasses to work. You ready? <clears throat> All right. Not a thing. No. <laughs> It's dim mud. Yeah, there's it's, nothing. It's a blank page. There's nothing. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, from here I can kind of see it. Yeah. But, one, on but once, but once it gets up there, yeah. Uh, I can see smudgings. I can see there's color. something. I definitely can't read yeah. anything though. Nothing. No, for sure not. All right. Well, there's uh, you know, it flowed. It mm -hmm. got to where it needed to get, but once it was there, it didn't quite do the job. It it, it didn't quite hit. All right. Beer me the wine. <laughs> Beer me the vino. Let's do this wine. thing. All for the right. sophisticated uh -huh. Yes, and I'm an expert in this category for sure. So, what do you think? This, I, is, the, this is our last one. I have the highest hope for it. Do you think it's do you think we're gonna see like increasingly better results as we as we go along? I have the highest hope for this pen. This ink. Wait. This wine. All of the above. All of the I have the highest hopes for everything for All wine. Right. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Mark, 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 mark. Nice, a nice beautiful look color. Look at that. It's a little, it's a little like, ah! it's, not, it's not quite as sloshy as the other two. It's got some more bubbles going on. I'm into that. Yeah, yeah, the bubbles are staying nice and, uh, you know, static on the sides of the pen. Definitely a uh, nice color. Definitely a nice color. All right, moment of truth. Let's do it. That's weak. Wow. That's weak. It is. It's like a... A, a soft lavender. You are being generous, sir. <laughs> you are being generous. Hmm? Okay, all right, let's take a look at it. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, it kind of, honestly, it's almost kind of gray. It is. I think you're seeing, like, a very, very light gray pink kind of thing happening. 
something tells me legibility is going to be a challenge for this vino, for this high quality. Yeah, it's it, it honestly when it dries it looks kind of gray. Yeah. Which I mean it's it's like a decent gray if you could read it. <laughs> Again, <laughs> overly kind. Overly kind. All right. It's uh, kind of it's better than the you other know, two. No, no, no. You know what? I can see vino and I can see wine. Can't you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can't see what you wrote, but did you say fluffy right there? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, so like. So barely passes. It's like the legibility. <laughs> it's like it as illegible as you can be soft, and still call yourself clouds. Okay. Soft, soft, no, I saw yeah. fluffy. Um, and now that I look, now that I know it's a soft fluffy yeah. clouds, I can definitely see it. Okay. So okay. wine. Like, yeah. Barely, barely legible. It's more there than it was with the coffee or the tea, which isn't saying a lot. All right, Micah, I'm gonna need some thoughts on this. What, what, where, how are we gonna decompress all the magnificent things we've learned today? Okay, so to go back over the criteria, we want does it flow without assistance? Mm -hmm. Is it legible at arm's length? Right. And will it destroy the pen? But we don't know that yet. So we're gonna check back in a week. We are and we're gonna see what the effects of the liquid are on the pen. But based on what we know now, mm -hmm. what do you think? What, what is your summary? Let's start off with the tea, since we did that one first. Okay. What are your thoughts on that? What's the tea? <laughs> All right, so give us the tea on the tea. All right, so what's the tea? The tea, I don't think it's gonna do anything to the pen. I think as a whole, it will just be the same non-legible liquid that it was now. So I think overall, looking at the criteria, is it flow? It was like fine. Is it legible? I think it's a, a very clear no. Hard no on that. I don't think it's gonna destroy the pen. So overall, I'm gonna say no, it won't. Right. right. Coffee. Coffee. Um, I feel a lot of the same way about coffee. I'm a little more concerned about maybe the acidity of the coffee damaging the feed or the barrel in some way. Do you think most fountain inks are pH neutral? I think most of them are. I know most uh, most of the Newsler's ones are pH neutral, right? Yes, he's very proudly pH neutral. Yeah. So I I, I think it might do makes me like kind of some scarring inside the barrel, which which definitely can happen with this pen. But I if I, you do things wrong. Yeah, and it's, but I, I think that the legibility is still a problem for the coffee. Absolutely. So I'm I'm gonna go ahead and give my overall no. I don't think it will. Right. All right. The final piece of this pie. This one, I, wine surprised me a little bit. It, it was lighter than I thought it was. It's still legible though. We can still read it, so it passes that. It flowed fine. Um, the problem is I think it's gonna destroy the pen. Um, with the clear warnings inside the eco, like do not put alcohol on this. It's bad for it. Don't Please do don't this. Ever Why did we do this? Time. I don't know. Yes. Uh, so I think it's gonna end up damaging the pen. So my prediction is that's gonna be a no as well. All right. Oh. We will find out. Thank you for your predictions. Um, and we will fast forward in time to a week from now and really check out and see what happened. Oh, hi. Yeah, come on in. I didn't need to do that anyway. So, last time we were together, Micah and I put three liquids that do not have any business being in a fountain pen, in a fountain pen, the Twisby Eco. We use tea, we use coffee, we use wine, and they've been sitting inked up with those things for a week in front of the window. So remember the will it write, uh, you know, the pie, the third piece of the pie was, will it do any damage to the pen? And that's what we're gonna find out. You're curious, I'm curious, let's check it out. It, they are here. So, this feels like tea. Oh my gosh, it was, I didn't even know that. Tea, coffee, and wine. So, let's take a closer, more in-depth look at all these. So, boom, tea, there you have it, it is, unscathed. We have emerged scot-free from the tea situation. Um, this thing is just fine. No lasting damage at all. No weird fogginess inside the barrel or anything. So uh, this is probably not necessary, but we'll put it to a writing test just to see if it got magically better. Probably not. Um, let's see. Nope, still doesn't write. Looks wet, that's about it. Definitely not going to be legible from an arm's length, which is what we decided legibility was gonna be. So, T, will it write? No, no, it won't. That's why, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do coffee. So, coffee was pretty similar to the T as far as legibility goes, but let's check out damage. And, 
Zero. Zero damage. Fingerprints, notwithstanding, but no lasting damage at all. So, coffee has not hurt the Twisby Eco at all. Um, Writing-wise, this one, you could kind of see that writing was there, but when you actually put it to the page and held it an arm's length, you couldn't read it. So that was the deciding factor. You can see that something was written, but once you put it at arm's length, you couldn't read it, and that's still the case. It definitely has not darkened at all. So, coffee, will it write? It still doesn't write. So our last possible saving grace is the wine. So this one flowed well. It actually uh, looked good as far as legibility goes, but did it damage anything? I don't know, guys, what do you think? Michael was a little concerned that the alcohol content might have messed with the, uh, with the plastic of the Eco, but I'm not seeing anything. Not a thing. It looks okay. So, I don't know, maybe if you uh, put something with a little higher alcohol content, we might see some damage, but this one, not so much. So, ineffective as, as far as damaging the pen, and probably also ineffective at, uh, you know, doing what a lot of people use wine for. So, anyway, let's write some stuff here. Will it write? Yup. So, hold that from an arm's length. It's gonna be just barely legible. It still does this whole, like, grayish lavender thing, um, but it's not bad. So, wine will write. The other two, though, nah. No matter what, though, you still shouldn't put these in your pen, so don't worry about that. Leave this to us. In fact, we'd love to do this again. Mike and I are itching to do this once more. Maybe with some even crazier stuff. So leave us a comment and let us know what else we should put in these things, and we'll give this another go soon. So hopefully you'll join us again, but until then, right on. Yeah, right on.